The University of Houston Moores School of Music is celebrating a very special honor. Their concert chorale has been invited to perform in one of Europe's oldest and most prestigious choral festivals. And joining us now is Betsy Weber, the U of H Chorale Director, and Tyson Ruman, a U of H Chorale member. Thank you all for coming in this morning. This is really a big deal, Betsy. Explain. It, it hasn't happened before. No, it hasn't. Um, this is a very prestigious festival, and it's very select. And the University of Houston has never had an ensemble travel across the Atlantic to perform in a thing like this. So we are extremely excited. For good reason. And Tyson, I'm guessing there has been a lot, not only of preparation, fundraising, stuff to get together. Explain all that. Oh, there's always been a lot of preparation with all uh, events that we put on as far as uh, performing for more school music and other things around uh, uh, Houston. And it's, it's always been a great pleasure to uh, get ready for such festivals as these. And I've always had fun working with Dr. Weber. What kind of an honor is this for your school? Um, it's it's a great honor to uh, one be able to go overseas and and uh, uh, present our music to uh, people over uh, in Wales and the, such a prestige festival as this and it's uh, as far as we've been performing around uh, Texas and around uh, around the country to get overseas overseas is is a really great honor. And Betsy, uh, we're looking at some pictures there of the, of, the, uh, of the choir there. Explain, you have a pretty select audience, or you will. We will. Um, people that, well, uh, Prince Charles is the patron of this festival. Mm -hmm. uh, people historically come from all over the world to hear the music performed. And the BBC broadcasts it uh, live. So there's a lot of interest in what happens over there. Explain what's gone into this to get everybody ready. Well, I submitted tapes and reviews and descriptions of the choir mm -hmm. uh, to be accepted to the festival, and now we're, we're rehearsing six hours a week uh, to get ready, and the students are working very hard. And explain, you are going to represent the United States. It's not just Houston. It's not right. just Texas. Well, there are other U.S. choirs in the festival, but we were selected to perform on the opening concert representing the United States. So we are extremely excited about that. So Tyson, tell us, when do you leave? What's next? What's coming up? I uh, believe we, well, we do leave July 6th, and uh, uh, once we get there, uh, uh, we settle into Wales. We're going to be uh, staying, I believe, in uh, Chester University in the, the dorm, dormitories over there. They're going to allot those to, for us to stay at, and uh, it's, it's going to be a, a fun-filled week. We've got uh, uh, con the opening concert that we're going to be performing at, as well as, uh, I believe, four of the competitions we're going to be performing in, so it's... Very interesting. Very cool. Betsy, what do you do to top this? <laughs> we just keep making music and at the highest possible level. And so, onward. Not so bad. Well, we want to let people know where they can actually hear the choir. The Moore's Concert Chorale, I Hear Voices Concert, is at 7.30 in the evening. That's on June the 23rd. That's at Moore's Opera House. You can get information and tickets and all that good stuff. Just call 713. 743-3313. You can also get more information at click2houston.com. Just go by the hot button.